just praying that everyone is doing well and is in such a beautiful positive state this morning i am still on the go um i wanted to pop in and do a, a video um i did a podcast on it um and it and is um what i really want to talk about today is um the uncertain times that we're in and um, I, I wanted to do a podcast and I wanted to do uh, a video and guys please excuse uh, if the camera is kind of uh, bumpy because I am you know traveling but I did want to uh, take this time because I do really believe in using my time as wisely as possible but um, some people prefer to listen some people prefer a video so I did want to just do a podcast and a video on the same topic but um, today I just want to talk about uh, these uncertain times or the so-called uncertain times that we are in um, this video is to encourage um, us to stand tall and to take whatever comes our way and uh, one thing um, I do want to say is that uh, you know uh, as, as people, we have been through, or this world has been through, uh, a lot of things, you know, a lot of tragedies, a lot of triumphs. Um, so this will not be the first time that we have faced uh, uncertain times. So um, what I want to do today is just encourage everyone to relax, to take a deep breath. You know, right now, uh, people are very emotional uh, because of the elections. And listen, guys, this is what I want to tell you. Um, you know, let's stop putting so much um, strength in man's hands, okay? Um, even though, you know, this person may be president, that person may be president, this person may have this office, that person may have that, that office, you know, try not to argue uh, with people about these things. Try not to get so angry about these things because, you know, one thing for sure, this is life and this is part of life. But, you know, with all those things being said, you know, let's take our own um, fate in our own hands. You know, one thing about it is, you know, we have, as a people, there's been depressions and plagues and so many things that have this, you know, has been happening in this world. But, you know, I just want to encourage everyone to keep your head up and to keep, you know, stay focused. And one thing as far as the uncertainty that's going on, you want to face it with a strong arm. And what I mean by that is let's be self-sufficient. Let's take a look at some things that we can do so that we can get through this as comfortably as possible because you never know what may happen. So I just kind of want to talk to us today to encourage, but also just to talk about some things that we can do ourselves to help us through this time of uncertainty. So one of the, the things that I would encourage everyone to do is if you are a person um, that has, or anybody, I encourage everyone to go out and get a checkup, make sure you're healthy. Uh, if you have some health conditions such as like diabetes or or high cholesterol or hypertension anything that you can alleviate we need to be trying to do that right now we need to be trying to exercise more we need to be trying to eat better we need to be trying to get rid of those ailments now if you have an ailment <clears throat> that you can't get rid of just do the best that you can with it you should be putting up medication prepping your medication you should have an extra store of medication in your home because you never know when we may not be able to come out of our home you know when this um, virus first came about everybody ran out trying to get um, supplies and food and water let's be proactive guys let's not wait till something happens again because I'm gonna tell you something even though we're in these uncertain times if you are prepared it's going to help you to mentally be able to deal with the uncertain times in a better way you know it's just like life insurance we don't want to have to use it but you're going to have to use it one day and we all know that and as mothers as fathers as aunts uncles and 
and grandparents and friends and loved ones, you want to make sure that your family or yourself can get through an emergency or get through something that's going on as comfortably as possible. So for the people that have medical conditions, I encourage you to make sure you take care of yourself as, as best as you can, okay? Store up your medication. You want to prep as much as you can, you know, do it as much as you can and have a stock of your medicine. We need to make sure we have food in our homes. And listen, I know that um, everybody is on a budget, you know, so you can start off with a little bit at a time. Now, if um, if you have money to go out there and buy a lot of supplies, I encourage you to go stock up on your supplies. But if you're on a budget, you know, for those um, that can't afford to just buy everything at once, when you go to the store, if you buy one bag of rice, if you can afford to, buy extra. Eat one, store one. Your canned goods. Eat some, store some. Okay? You want to make sure um, that you have um, hygiene products in your home cleaning products um anything that you need to live you need to have that in your home we need to have extra water we need to have first aid kits and, and listen guys we want to definitely be like the ant see the ant is always working but then you have some people that are like the grasshopper the grasshopper just likes to play and follow la 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 let me tell you this some years back um, we had a ice storm when my children were younger and I am a mother of eight uh, children and I, I've been married for almost 30 years but we had this ice storm guys and it, and it knocked our power out for two weeks okay so I hear I had these children it was in the dead of winter ice everywhere power lines down um, you know, we even had a broken window uh, where part of a tree fell through the window. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. But what we had to do was we learned a system. And I was so proud of my children because, you know, they didn't gripe and complain. They just rolled with the punches. And so what we did during the day, uh, I had a gas stove. And gas stoves really work good during something like that. What I did was I actually would boil water so that everyone could bathe with hot water and we used our stove the, the you know the pilot lights we were able to have a nice warm house um, but what we had to do was during the day when there was daylight we had to clean and then um, at nighttime when it started to get dark we would uh, listen to the radio we would play games until it was time to go to bed we would talk and spend time with each other but guys after that happened I promise that I wouldn't face um, something like that again without being prepared so with that being said you want to have uh, everything you need in your home to survive something that may happen or an emergency or a time when you may not be able to to come out of your house okay you want to make sure you can have um, can, well, I wouldn't say you can have candles, but be very careful with candles and try to get you a, a lantern with the glass so that you can set that candle in there so that you won't start a fire. But if you can, try to get some of the LED lanterns um, or the little switch light light so that you can have light in your home. Make sure you have water and food. Females, make sure you have feminine products. We've all seen disasters that have happened. These are uncertain times, and you never know what's going to happen. But let me tell you this. If you face it with a positive attitude and optimism, you can make it through it. You understand? But you want to be prepared. You want to be like the ant. And let me tell you this. Be able to protect yourself and your family. You're going to have some people that are going to be like the grasshopper. They're going to sit around and and they're not going to be wise and they're not going to prepare and they're not going to have the things that they need and then they will start looking for people that have to try to take what you have so be careful know your surroundings have your support systems i am so thankful that i have children and a husband that are so supportive you know and we're going to look out for each other if you have that have a plan talk to your family okay Know what to do in case of an emergency, any emergency. 
earthquake or tornado, whatever. You want to be able to have a plan so that you can be as self-sufficient as possible and you won't have to depend on the government or someone else to try to take care of you if something happens. It's going to make you feel so much better. It's going to make you feel so much more empowered. Okay? You know, I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to give you something to strengthen your own hand where you don't have to worry about who's president or who's in this office or whatever. Take your fate and put it in your hands. See, me, I put my fate in the hands of my creator because I know that I'm going to be okay. I know that man can only do so much. But, in, and also I know that I need to have some wisdom to help take care of my family. As a mother, I take pride in taking care of my family. You understand? I have children i have grandchildren i have my husband i have others that i help and i definitely want to be able to go through an emergency or go through an uncertain time and be in comfort okay so be encouraged guys you know one thing about it there's been some people that prepared and they put up food and supplies and, and things like that and they lost their job well, they had food in the house. That was one less thing that they didn't have to worry about. So prepare. You can go on uh, YouTube. There are many uh, prepping videos. Um, there are instructions for you to get through an emergency. Just do your research, you know, and be educated, okay? But in all things, you face it head on with a positive attitude. And if this is your first time looking at my video, uh, my name is Misha, and I am Connecting Kindly. I'm a life coach. I am a support. I am your advocate. I am not a negative person. I don't like negativity. It is a pet peeve of mine. I choose to see the glass half full rather than half empty, okay? We are living in uncertain times. You know, at any moment, anything may happen, but guess what? What are we going to do? Are we going to roll over and die? No, we're going to live. And we're going to live the best life that we can. And life is going to happen. Tragedies are going to happen. Death is going to happen. That's part of life. Let me tell you something. Life does not care about anything. Life is not biased. It's going to happen with you or without you. Trust and believe, okay? But guess what? What are you going to do about it? You're going to live you're gonna live okay and let's be positive let's not argue let's not waste all this high emotion over something that is partly out of your control okay let's prepare ourselves let's have a savings if you can you know make sure you have some money on hand and listen I know everybody's on different levels do the best that you can if you don't have a lot of food Use some of these agencies right now that are helping you and you get some of that food if it's free and you put it up, okay? Eat some, store some. Try to get as much help as you can. And listen, guys, we got to look out for our elders, okay? Our elders are very important. They need our help, especially during this time. Let's have a plan for everybody. Let's have a plan for our elders. Let's have a, a plan for our children. Let's have a plan for uh, our family members so that if something happens, what is everybody going to do? See, you know, let's be proactive. You see what I'm saying? We can't sit around and complain about stuff. Let's be problem solvers. Not, let's not just be the one to always find the problem, but once we identify the problem, okay, so now what are we going to do? Okay? Let's be soldiers. Let's be strong. Okay? And I just want to encourage you because you can do it. You can make it through anything. You can make it through anything. Okay? Not everything is going to be easy. Life was never promised to be easy. And sometimes it may even seem unfair, but guess what? It is what it is. Nothing you can do to stop life. You know, life keeps going until the day you close your eyes and you breathe that last breath. That's when it's over for you, okay? But I just want to encourage you, you know, right now, don't be sad. You know, it's not going to help anything. Smile. Encourage somebody. Love somebody. Let's learn some things. Let's do what we can do to keep
keep moving, okay? It is uncertain. We don't know what's going to happen, but guess what? Man does not control me, my fate. My creator does, and I'm happy about that. You know, but that's between you and whomever you, you look to. But I just want to tell you, you can be positive. You can be optimistic. You can be educated. And you can be proactive. And that's what we're going to do. Connecting kindly people do what they're going to do. Okay? They do what they have to do. It's not always easy what you have to do. But you have to be responsible and keep it moving so you know i just wanted to pop in and do this video and um, i do plan on doing um, some more prepping videos showing what we can do to be proactive to take care of our family our families um it's, it's so many things that you can do to prepare uh yourself to be self-sufficient you know we um, often do videos um or not often, we do have some videos um, with us working in our garden. That's another way to be um, self-sufficient. You want to plant. You want to save some of your seeds so that you can continue to plant, so that you can continue to be able to feed your family. I plan on doing more videos like that um, so that, you know, we can be self-sufficient, okay? I plan on doing some videos because uh, me, myself, and my family, we try to take a natural approach to things as much as possible. But, you know, we need to know what's out there in nature that we can use as food, as that we can use as medicine, that we can use as health tonics. And, you know, one of the things that I do want to do a video on next is dandelions. You know, a lot of people kill those because they consider it a weed. That is a great detoxifier. And you can take that dandelion and you use the root to make a tea. You can eat the leaves and you can use the flower for certain things. These are things that we need to know. These are things that, that our ancestors knew about and passed down from generations to generations. And we need to get back to that so that we can be more self-sufficient. What are you going to do? Okay, if you have to stay in your house and you can't come out of your house. We need to be preparing comfort foods. Don't just put up beans and rice and stuff like that. Put some comfort foods up. You know, keep your morale up. Put up things for your children to do activities, coloring books, pens, pencils, stuff to read. Because you never know what's going to happen. But we're going to face it with a smile and we're going to keep pushing. Okay? And when it seems hard, we're going to draw strength from within, and we're going to still keep on moving. But like I said, I plan on doing more videos. I just want to encourage everybody. Guys, you know, it's a lot of emotions going on right now. People are angry. People are confused, you know. But everything will be fine. And I just want to encourage everybody to relax and, and take a breath, plan, prep, and keep it moving so um you know guys most certainly please um you know give me comments give me feedback okay um i've been enjoying the uh feedback that i've been getting from some people and i'm so thankful for that because you know we are a community of, of many different uh backgrounds and there's nothing wrong with that and i enjoy that but you know, we have to be positive together. We have to be strong together. And um, so I definitely uh, have enjoyed talking with you today. Um, I do plan on making a lot more videos. I would enjoy it if um, there's something that you want to talk about that's within, you know, my scope. I'll, I'll talk about it. Um, but please find me on Facebook. That's Connecting with a K Kindly. Uh, find me on uh, Instagram. Please uh, watch videos on YouTube and subscribe uh, to this channel. But, um, you know, this is Misha with Connecting Kindly, just encouraging everyone to keep your head up, to be proactive, to keep loving, to keep living, and to, you know, just face life um, optimistically, y'all. You know, we, we can't... Um, can't fold right now and we can't subside to all these different 
you know, emotions that are flying around. We can't let that get us down, okay? So, um, you know, those are just some things that I wanted to tell you. And I uh, hope everybody um, has an absolutely wonderful day. And I just want to let everybody know that, you know, everything will be fine as long as we just face it with positivity and love. Peace and blessings.